My name is Dennis Pulley. Welcome to the world's suckiest man cave. It's my four <laughs> four square foot of space and uh, all the junk. All right. Anyway, probably, I'm not sure if you followed any of our stuff, but with our marginal success in launching sugar rockets and other rockets of chemicals and pyrotechnology we need a ball mill uh, I've made one or two before crappy ones out of drills um, trash all the ones you've you seen on YouTube I probably built all those and I recently read the Sponenberg was it theory and practice of ball milling if you haven't read it you can look it up free all over the place um, he gives you the design, the pack anyway, gives you the whole spiel on it, so we're finally decided that we're gonna build a decent one. So this is the beginning of it. The motor I'm gonna use, or I'm gonna start with, is from a garbage disposal. It's a used garbage disposal, it was clogged up, the motor's still good. Uh, doesn't look much like one anymore. I've removed the top, removed the cutting head with the teeth, uh, this the plate to cover it, this right here is actually gonna be our gear I uh, welded a plate for mounting it's a half horsepower it's a uh, strictly AC 110 120 uh, RPMs are probably about 200 which is great I have to do very little work to get it geared and the body of it is this uh, I've actually had this built for years, and it turns out this is exactly what Sponenberg prescribes to build. So it's simple, it's adaptive, it, it's just perfect for a couple of guys who are going to run a couple of jars. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to number these videos, so if you want to keep track of our progress, see how it's going, see how can follow our success or avoid our failures we're going to try our best to do this without spending very much money thank you very much my name is Dennis Pulley and this is how you force yourself on a garbage disposal it's disposal which I replace a lot of these in the rental units you'll get a screw or something to fall in there keep it from spinning can't really get it out so I have to replace the whole unit but the motor's still good so these four long bolts come out of here take the top off and this is the head all right see the head and the two teeth and it's got one bolt that holds it that one nut can it's sometimes reverse threaded so always check that before you start torquing on it but if you see what i've done i've got it strapped down and I've got it broken, so now you know. Alright, well, this is part of our ball mill because we're trying to melt aluminum and a little bit of lead so we can make the medium. So we got this from YouTube that we dug a hole in the ground and stuck a fan to it. And it's, it's going to do it. It's like a almost three foot hole, 30 inches or so, about a foot across, and one little blow dryer. We stuff that pipe in the ground, see? Yeah, tapped out. You see that pipe in the ground right there, and it comes all the way through. I don't know what we got going on there, Josh, but it looks like we got something melting and climbing up. I don't know if that's the pot melting or if that's the aluminum that. Oh, that's so cool. That's our aluminum. That's it. What is the rest of that junk in there? That's junk. That's the powder shit. 
let me see. Let's poke like something. Can we flip it upside down and dump it on the ground? Ready? Ah. Yeah, that's um trash. That's trash pure aluminum. Wow. That is very cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I wanted to get it on tape, but I bought myself. I just poured a little bit of that lead. Look, we started with about four pounds of lead, three pounds from sinkers and mostly pure lead. And then we busted apart this battery and tried to get the lead out of all that shit. And we ended up with a lot less lead than what we started with. A lot. So, I don't know. I wouldn't mess with the batteries. Wouldn't waste my time, but... I got like six or seven of those of the media poured and yeah there's gonna be lots of clean up but in the end yeah I, I think it's gonna be worth it I'm Dennis Pulley again and we're still continuing our Sponenberg ball mail right now we're last night we were melting the lead and the aluminum and now we're making the mold for our media to go inside so this is what I've got so far just like grout in a bag mixed with uh, water putty it's just pretty much whatever I had and the holes aren't great it was more or less just to move some material while it was still wet and now what I'm doing is shaping them with this it seems to work pretty good you know just kind of cleaning them out making them uniform but look don't get me wrong I'm still gonna be grinding and sit not grinding but sanding down and trimming every one of these to make them Nice, or maybe I'll throw them in the ball mill with a bunch of sand and let them roll. They're not going to be terribly uniform, <laughs> uh, but it, it's going to work, and it's going to save us some money, and that's pretty important to me. All right, and later on today, we've got the motor done, so I'm going to put the axles and stuff on that thing, mount the motor, and hopefully we will be spinning this afternoon. On this mold. Uh, Yesterday, while it was still wet, I removed some material, the little tool, just so I thought it'd be easier. And what I did was, uh, it doesn't look as good as the ones that I'm just drilling out after it's already set. Not dry completely, but pretty set. So, you see, see these holes, these big crappy ones, those are the ones I did yesterday when the ones I drill out were just the drill. A much cleaner. Just a tip. I did want to show you the kind of bearings we're using for the rollers. You got two rollers and they need bearings. Uh, well we found, the, this is a motor from a over the, over the hood, over the range microwave vent fan. And that's what it typically looks like on both sides. But when I started taking them apart, what I end up with is this spindle and this spindle when set and this actually turns into one of the smoothest spinning objects you come across so what I need to do or what I hope to do is more or less mount that right there even with that counterweight installed I'll cut this end off right here and that's going to hold one on each side. It's going to hold our, our spindle. We did have, or we do have, regular bearings that I've managed to fit on something like this. But um, just looks shitty. Just looks no good. Um, I will be using this gear though, or this pulley. I'm just going to put it on something else, probably a piece of uh, one inch PVC and put it on that. And the one inch PVC is to keep from making a lot of noise. Uh, what Sponenberg 
specs out is actually uh, industrial rollers. You know, the kind you see steel industrial rollers that you slide stuff on. Well, then we'd have to pay for those. And we're trying to do this without paying for anything. All right, I wanted to get it on tape, but I bought myself. I just poured a little bit of that lead. Look, we started with about four pounds of lead, three pounds from sinkers and mostly pure lead. And then we busted apart this battery and tried to get the lead out of all that shit. And we ended up with a lot less lead than what we started with. A lot. So, I don't know. I wouldn't mess with the batteries, wouldn't waste my time, but I got like six or seven of those the media poured and yeah there's gonna be lots of cleanup but in the end yeah I, I think it's gonna be worth it all right remember we're making our fall mill and we've gotten pretty good on that we've got the motor pressed and stuff and we've been milling our own medium because we can't really afford to buy it so we've done aluminum and lead this is lead there now We're about to pull it out. That's just a hole in the ground with a blow dryer stuff to it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm ready. All right, yeah, we're good. Now we're gonna dump the sled out. Oh, you got. This is lead mostly from a battery, from a battery, uh, what's called an MGA battery. The MGA battery comes in like little pieces, uh, positive, negative, with a cloth in between. Well, it's mostly a bunch of shit mixed in with it. Yeah, MGA, something like that. Uh, it's a maintenance-free battery, for like a, it was for a little car. But well, what we do is cook this stuff till it gets all melted and it separates itself just like that. And see, we've got to knock all that trash out of there. Mm. Alright, it'll just dry, it'll just solidify and dump it off. Cool. Yeah, without pushing it in. Wow, pretty cool. Pretty fucking cool. That's just a hole we dug in the dr in the ground and put. That's a, a pipe to a shop vac at a 45 degree angle or so into the bottom of the hole just to shoot air down in it. And that's the last. That's our aluminum pot. That's the first one we used. So make sure you use a stainless steel pot or better, cast iron something. Wow. Not too bad. Yeah, yeah, a couple days ago I started setting some stuff up in the backyard <laughs> just so we had a place to work. We got a table, got a projector with some TV. It's not, it could be a lot worse, that's for sure. Better than uh, being cramped, being cramped in a man cave, the suggiest man cave in the world, that's for sure. You know what that is?